Uh, on, on reviewing this patient's notes, I, I can see that he presented to the practice two, three years ago with, with also a few days, uh, a week of dizziness, and, and he was prescribed prochlorpromazine. Would that help me to, to reach the diagnosis? Okay, so th this is a patient who has had previous episodes, and so you have to ask the question, what are the diagnoses that can lead to such a presentation? And the two commonest diagnoses would be BPPV, which is a recurring theme, always look for BPPV, mm -hmm. and migraine can do that. So actually, if a patient represents with recurrent episodes and has had something similar in the past, you should relax because neither BPPV nor migraine is a dangerous diagnosis. Mm -hmm. Of course, if you have untreated vestibular episodes, this is both unpleasant, but can also lead to significant morbidity and I suppose a certain mortality if the patient falls over. So it's important to identify these diagnoses and treat them. However, you do not need to be anxious about this case and does, this case does not need to be referred immediately because of the recurrent nature. So could it be a recurrent labyrinthitis? Such a diagnosis does not exist. There are hmm. three common uh, possibilities to explain an apparent recurrent labyrinthitis. The first one is that after labyrinthitis or vestibular neuritis, patients recover not because the ear gets better, they recover because of brain plasticity. And if the patients get excessive treatment with things like stematil or cinarazine, it impedes that recovery. There are some additional factors that impede recovery, and we will have another section about how patients can be helped to recover from vestibular lesions later on. Mm -hmm. The second possibility is BPPV. After labyrinthitis, mm -hmm. patients are at risk of subsequent BPPV. And it can look like as if the patient's having recurrent labyrinthitis, but it, you need to look for BPPV. And the third possibility, as in terms of common scenarios, is that in fact it wasn't a labyrinthitis in the first place, but in fact was vestibular migraine. And that is, is certainly recurrent. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you always have to question the uh, veracity of the initial diagnosis mm -hmm. if it doesn't fit. And so definitely you should not be making a diagnosis of recurrent labyrinthitis or recurrent vestibular neuritis because it doesn't exist.